basically we have an iPod Touch mounted on a on a camera tripod and it's running this software called iWeb sorry web camera and in order for the image to get uh, connected to the computer we're running the desktop client of if you see here Mobiola web camera what it does is it connects to the iPod Touch and it shows the video um, as a webcam. Um, it also takes the audio as well. So we're getting sound live on the iPod Touch itself. So since it shows up as a webcam, you can use it to stream. But we want to make like overlays onto the image. So what we use is a software called Cam Twist. So as you can see here on the right side, these are the different effects that I have set up. So this is a scrolling text. Um, webcam, which input I'm using, image overlays, things like that. Cam twist lets you do a lot of these um, the modifications to your video stream. Which a lot of podcasters do. There are similar applications like Minicam for Windows. Uh, there's even, I think, Webcam Studio for Linux. Yeah. It seems pretty comprehensive as well. But currently, since I'm running on OS 10, we're using Cam Twist. Yeah. Now, in order to get the audio in, we sometimes we need audio from the mixer itself so we have a line in input from the mixer as well as we have the remote um, the remote microphone from the iPod touch somewhere over there yeah, do we want me to run there no, that's okay so <laughs> in order to switch between the audio sources we're using something called Ladio cast Ladio cast it's actually an ice cast streaming uh, ice cast client source client but one thing we found out is it has like a software mixer where you can actually choose your audio sources and choose which ones you want to stream out to a different audio source. So if you take a look here, we have the built-in input which is from the mixer as well as the Mobio, Mobio, Mobiola microphone from the iPod Touch. And on the right hand side is the output devices. Basically, I'm streaming the output on Soundflower which is being used for streaming and this aux output one is used for monitoring. In order to select an audio source, you just need to click the button underneath the source input. So if I want to listen to this, or disable listening to it on the auxiliary output one, which is the headphones I use for monitoring, I just need to click, click a button. So as you can see here, I disable both and there's no output on the headphone microphones, on the headphone monitoring out, as you can see here. So if I want to monitor it, I just need to press a button and I'll be able to hear what's coming through on this USB device, sound device. Okay. So we're going to our streaming software client, or in this case it's a Flash application, it's Ustream.tv. Um, they do have a Ustream producer application, but it seems to be unreliable for us at this current moment in time. So I'm just using the Flash player. I selected video source, it's Cam Twist which allows you to provide the video overlays and effects that I showed you just now. Yep. And for the audio source, we're using Soundflower, which was specified in Ladiocast. So based on this UI and interface, we're able to adjust the audio quality, the video quality according to how the connection is. If we find the connection is getting a bit iffy, we can turn down the video quality in real time without having to stop the stream. The same goes with audio volume. You can turn it up, turn it down, or in terms of volume, or in terms of quality as well. So, we use this to stream. The great thing about Ustream is that you can actually record your stream. So all you need to do is just press the record button. Once you're done, press the stop record, and it'll save it as a file accessible on the channel, Ustream channel itself. Yep. So that's just a brief setup, a brief explanation of our setup here that we have. ICC. We're streaming on uh, B Mobile Dongle, B Mobile Dongle, uh, 3G, 3G Dongle, and we're sharing the wireless um, using internet sharing on OS 10. Yep. So since the uh, iPod Touch is on the same network, it's able to communicate with the Mobile Mobiola webcam software. So, you guys have any questions? Things on how how to live stream? Um, how to get things set up, any questions, any feedback that you'd like to let us know, um, do drop us a line. Uh, so thanks for watching and we're signing off. See you guys.